Hey, this is Mike. Check out this 2015 Ram 2500 crew cab with a long bed in white. Now it has the chrome bumpers and, and wheels and stuff, clearance lights. Has some cool features to it. Does have the trailer tow mirrors and stuff, which I'll show you in a second. But check out how long this truck is. Check it out. Long truck, big cab. It has the 6.4 liter Hemi. So this is a gas engine heavy duty truck. There's the bed there. It does have the backup camera. You can see the lens there. It has the backup sensors. It has a towing package. Let's see what it looks like under there. Now the tailgate will lock and unlock with the key, but I'm just going to go ahead and open it up so you can see. I already have it unlocked and running. Plenty of room back here. Three dimensional RAM. Four by four. Here's the inside of the back. Uh, here's the the door. You've got a pocket there, power window, you've got a speaker, and it does have the gray cloth seats here in the back. Slush mats are already in here, which is highly recommended by me. Lift up the seats, and you've got some storage space underneath the seats. There's your cup holders. You got vents right here, as well as underneath the seat. Now underneath this floor mat you have storage pockets on both sides, storage bins I guess you could say. Kind of looks like a little waste basket. And um, so basically you can put stuff in there and empty it. Uh, some people can, some people put um, ice in there and drinks and stuff, some people put trash, whatever you want. Here's the passenger side. You got the storage pockets there on the door, door lock controls, door window controls, manual adjustments on the cloth seats. You got your slush mats here in the front as well. You got a nice ram there. Glove compartment. You have a quick access storage bin there little storage pockets there and there and everywhere cup holders here and there definitely need the handle to get in and out of without especially without a step because this is a pretty tall truck you can see it's pretty good ways off the ground 6.4 liter hemi Now I've heard that um, you know some people were like, well, what's the fuel economy and everything on these trucks? They're not listed on the window sticker, and I don't really have any personal experience on the highway. But a lot of people say that they got some pretty decent fuel economy with these trucks, considering what they're doing with them. There's a trailer tow mirror. This flips out. Of course, it goes goes that way and that way in case you hit something. Okay, so here's the inside of the driver's door. You got your storage pockets down there, and your door lock controls, mirrors, and windows. Manual adjustment on this seat as well. You have an automatic headlight system, tilt steering. You gotta hop up in here, literally. All right, I'm gonna turn the fan down. All right, here's the steering wheel. It's like a plastic, soft plastic feel to it, like a synthetic. It's not a leather wrapped or anything. But um, cruise control, very important on the highway. Now you don't have any volume controls on the back of the steering wheel. Or on either side. But you do have Bluetooth and you can pair your phone and um, make, make and receive phone calls. It does have a voice recognition system to where you can um, 
tell the system to turn to a certain station or call a certain person, stuff like that. Now here's your gauges. Now in the center of those gauges, uh, these arrow buttons help you change through other controls for this um, this kind of menu system, I guess you can say. Speedometer is kind of like the default view. I'm going to go out of that by pushing left. I'm going to go down, go into by pushing right, the vehicle info. Let's see if I can get a better view of that. Okay. So now um, tire pressure, temperature, temperature, pressure, oil life, voltage, stuff like that. And there's a summary. Fuel economy, you can go into that. Now, this vehicle has just a few miles on it, so it's definitely going to get a lot higher than that. But, um, and w what I've heard is it gets in the high teens uh, without a load, and then pulling a trailer and stuff, it gets like in the, in the low teens, like 12 or 13 on the, high, on the highway. So just to give you an idea of what I've heard. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I've heard. See different trips and stuff, trailer tow. Um, that's for adjusting your uh, your gain on your trailer brake control. So anyway, that's that's there. Uh, let's give you an idea of what's in this little screen. Now, also, you got your digital compass right there. Digital temperature. It's not 101 degrees outside. It's more like 80 degrees. But I guess the truck sitting directly in the sun and the temperature probe is getting heated up. Now, it does have a regular column shifter for the uh, six-speed transmission. And when I put it in reverse like this, you can see this little vehicle animation pops up here. That's your backup sensor. It will start beeping if I get close to something and give you a visual cue. And also your, your backup camera turns on on the screen right here. Now it does give you an estimated trajectory of the vehicle. Right now my, my wheels are turned, but I'm gonna straighten them up. So you can see that those lines actually do move when you turn the wheel. And it, it, it is an estimated trajectory, so you don't want to count on that 100%. It is easy to back up to a trailer, though, because kind of a glare right now. But you can see there's the bumper there. You can even see the ram symbol there. So you can back right up to a trailer without any assistance. Now on the shifter, you've got a where you can change to the gears up and down. And your radio, this, has, this is... Um, is a AM, FM, and satellite radio, uh, media. Uh, your media is basically right now there's no media device um, like a USB or, or a um, Bluetooth device right now. Your phone information is here. Of course, there's no phone paired right now, but it would be if it was, you'd see it right in there. If it was, compass, got a pretty cool compass system. You got more a bunch of settings and stuff to push that settings more clock outside temperature stuff like that this is the uconnect 5.0 system up here we've got a little quick access storage pocket pocket there and um, you know your volume control and tuning and this is your uh, climate control very basic just like you would see in any other vehicle fan control temperature and where you want the air to blow now down here you got a whole bunch of buttons now these auxiliary buttons are they don't do anything unless you hook them up to something they're just extra on and off switches this is your trailer brake control gain you can adjust it um, more brake or less brake trash control you can turn that off if you want to tow and haul button you want to turn that on when you're hauling a heavy load parking sensors you can turn that off uh, if you're backing up to something and you know you need to back up to it and you don't want to hear the beeping you can um, turn it off USB charger right there 12 volt power supply there you got pockets cup holders all kinds of storage things down here your four-wheel drive shifter is here cup holders in this center console this lifts up this is where you'll find your auxiliary input as well as your USB input for your radio and a power supply there and you got this nice big bin to put stuff in this whole thing lifts up and you have a a place for a center passenger you have an auto dim rear view mirror and tap lights up here visors 
This one has no mirror. This one does, real basic. This is a work truck. So it's not all the super bells and whistles, but it does have some really useful features. See what it looks like out that way. Now let's look underneath the hood and check out the 6.4 liter Hemi. Let me drop down here. Eighteen inch tires, by the way, steel wheels. All right, six point four liter Hemi gas engine on a heavy duty truck. You've got the uh, insulated battery on this side, and everything in yellow is uh, is where you can adjust. You can check on your own. Anyway, if you have any questions, my phone number and email address will be in the description, and I'll see you next time.